Hey everyone, in this demo, we want to show you how to use Flow to set up a Postgres capture and then materialize the data to a Google Sheet destination. So we'll just go to the captures page, hit new capture, and then select our Postgres connector and just give the capture a name and fill out the connection info of our source database. Now we can make the destination data identical to the source, but we understand that sometimes you want to capture every change event and be able to distinguish between an insert versus an update versus a delete. So in this video, we'll be showing how you would do that for this specific use case where you want the target data to show every change event. When you fill out everything here, hit next. This is when Flow runs the discovery process to discover the collections in your source database. Now, by default, the collection will key off of the primary key of your source table, but since we want to capture every change event, in this case, we don't want to reduce the destination data down to the latest record per primary key. Instead, we will use the collection specification here to tell Flow to key off of a separate set of values to use as the key in the destination table. And this section at the bottom here is where you would want to do that. So we'll replace the employee ID under key, and we'll use the location data in the metadata and the operation enum from the metadata, which tells us the type of change event this is. So C is create or insert, U is for update, and D is for delete. That way, in the destination, it will be really clear for each record what type of change event that is, as well as the source data associated with it. Now, because the key needs to be a required field, we will add log to required here. And then just one final simple change is we will add the original primary key to the resource config down here so that it won't be undocumented and create issues. So we'll just add the primary key right here. And that should be it. So let's hit test. And once it's successful, we'll save and publish. Okay, so our capture is now done. So we're going to materialize the collections and we'll pick Google Sheet. Um, I already have a materialization here we can use and we'll pick the collection that we just edited. Postgres demo employee. And that should be it. So we don't need to change anything else. We'll hit next test. And it's successful, so we'll just save and publish our materialization. Now let's check that both our capture and materialization are up and running. So you see the green light showing that the capture is up and running. Um, the materialization, let's enable it. Normally it would be enabled by default, but since I have previously used this materialization, so I had disabled it. So now we're just going to enable it really quickly. Now that's done. And now I'm going to show my database query screen and our destination Google Sheet together side by side so that you can see what kind of updates are happening as we do an insert and update and a delete in our source database. So right now it has one record in both the source and the target. Now we're going to run an insert statement. As you can see on the right, um, immediately a new record gets added to the destination database with a C, which means it's a create or insert. 
Now the update, the U, and then finally the delete. And you'll see pretty much real time on the right, you see a new record added when each of those actions takes place in the source database. So there you go. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.